Welcome to the Ultimate Music Teacher's Productivity and Profitability Podcast. I'm your host, Glory St. Germain. Tune in to discover how you can unleash your teaching potential and turn your passion for music education into profit. Let's dive in. Hello, and welcome back to another exciting episode of the Ultimate Music Teachers Podcast. I'm your host, Glory St. Germain, founder of the Ultimate Music Theory Program, and I'm thrilled to dive into a topic that's really close to my heart, the incredible benefits of Music Theory Club classes. But before we jump in, I want to remind you to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode filled with tips and tricks and insights for music teachers for productivity and profitability. And if you enjoy this podcast, leave us a review and it helps us spread the word to fellow music educators around the world. So let's get started with the power of music theory club classes. And I've got some great resources for you today, so be sure to stay to the end so you don't miss anything, and I'll be sure to share all the links with you as well. So you may already know that music theory was not my strong suit when it came to teaching. Yes, I will just admit it here, but I did know the importance of music theory, and I quickly realized that I needed to figure out how to teach music theory more effectively and profitably in order to maintain my teaching studio, which led me to write over 60 books in the Ultimate Music Theory Workbook Program. And what got me started teaching groups, it was actually two things. So number one, the first thing is that I was teaching the same theory lesson over and over and over again. And you maybe can relate to that with students rolling their eyes saying, you know, why do we have to do music theory? This is boring, blah, blah, blah. And so I thought, why not teach music theory group classes? And what really pushed me over the edge was the second thing. And that is that my husband, Ray, he's a professional entertainer, singer, songwriter, and he was on the road doing, you know, big shows and having a blast singing and, and doing what he loved. And unfortunately he got sick and he landed up in the hospital and his performance income went to zero. And so it was up to me to figure out how was I going to increase my income without increasing my teaching time. And so Theory Club classes gave me that opportunity to actually make five times more money per hour. This is way back in the day. I think I was making $50 an hour teaching private, and I charged $45 an hour for my group classes. So instead of making 50 bucks an hour, I was making $270 per hour. That's five times more money per hour. And I could help my students learn faster while, of course, helping my husband recover and get back to doing what he loved, which is performing on the big stages, entertaining all of his raving fans, uh, which he loves so much. You know, it's, it's funny. It's really funny how life sometimes throws us into situations. And although it seems overwhelming at the time, if we are just open to looking for opportunities to learn There may be this whole world of possibilities for us to grow our music teaching business. And that's not only what happened for me, but it also is what happened for my students and for my ultimate music teachers' clients. And I'm so proud of them. They've implemented the strategies that I'm going to share with you today. So why should we consider music theory club classes for our students? Well, these classes offer a unique opportunity for students to dive into the world of music. And music theory, of course, is the language of music, and understanding it can truly unlock a musician's potential. Music theory club classes provide a supportive and engaging environment where students can learn together. It's reinforcing their skills and they're building a stronger foundation for their musical journey. Think about yourself. 
If you've ever been in a group collaborating on a project or even playing a duet with a friend or maybe one of your students or participating, you know, in a choir or in a band, whatever it might be, it's way more fun when we engage in learning and doing things together. Questions that I often hear are, okay, Glory, so how many students should be in a class? Do I teach classes, these Ultimate Music Theory Club classes, do I teach them online? Do I teach them in person? What ages, what levels should they go into? How do you figure that out? I mean, there's so many questions. And I want to answer all of those questions today. So first, studies show that through the cooperative learning theory, Students learn best in small groups. So that might be for you, it might be four, might be six, might be eight, right? Depending on what works best for your teaching space and what age group of students you want to be teaching. So there's some leeway there, but four, six, eight, that's kind of the the ideal group size that can learn best in a group setting. Now, the cooperative learning theory of teaching group classes benefits five fundamental areas of development. So it really helps students learn faster and with more confidence and ultimately more enjoyment in a collaborative learning environment, not just for the students, but for you as a teacher. Believe me, it's really fun teaching a group of students. And there's just so many personalities that come out and confidence and come out and opportunities to do things differently in a class setting. And the great news is, is that you can teach music theory group classes both online or in person Or you can even do a hybrid, you know, a little bit of both. You can have some classes that are all in person. You can have maybe three students online and four students in person. There's a lot of flexibility in there, just depending on how you want to manage your music teaching business. When planning your theory club classes, it's not as important to put all the same ages of students together as it is to put the same knowledge levels together. So for example, you might have students that are ages 12, 13, and 14 that can all go into the same music theory. I'll just use an example of the same ultimate music theory prep one rudiments workbook in their theory club class. Even though those three students, ages 12, 13, and 14, may be at different levels musically, some might be in, you know, level three, some might be in level four in music, but they can all go into the same music theory class. Now, most classes run for 36 sessions to complete the entire level of the music theory workbook before moving on to the next level. And these workbooks are meant uh, to be done in order. So now in order for you to easily teach Music Theory Club classes, I've actually created free resources for you at ultimatemusicteachers.com. And here's where you can get started with the free Ultimate Music Theory Basic Rudiments mini course. And you're going to get all these tips on all 12 lessons in the Basic Rudiments workbook. Lots of little tips and tricks for you guys to get started. So I hope you enjoy that. You can just jump over to ultimatemusicteachers.com and get started with your free Teach Basic Rudiments mini course. So up next is tailoring to different learning styles. Wow. As teachers, we know all about our students being so different. And I know as music teachers, we understand that each student has their own learning style. When it comes to music theory club classes, it's important to cater to these different learning styles. And some students are visual learners. They might benefit from colorful visual aids and interactive diagrams. Others are auditory learners. And incorporating listening exercises and discussions can really help them grasp these concepts. And of course, there's kinesthetic learners and they engage with hands-on activities and that can make the learning experience really, truly memorable. Now, here's the thing. When you engage in all three modalities, visual, auditory, and kinesthetic in your music theory club classes, that's when enhanced learning really happens. So we want to engage in all three modalities. So do you know your learning style? 
And you might think, yes, I do. Well, for me, I thought, yes, I do too. I thought I was a kinesthetic learner. And turns out that's not true. (laughs) And as I was going through my NLP training, which is Neuro Linguistic Programming, I'm an NLP practitioner, and I identified first my learning style as going through the program. And I realized, oh my goodness, I'm a visual learner, hardcore visual learner. And the other thing I realized is that what's really important is how do you identify your student's learning style? And it's important to know this so that you can be really effective as an educator. So I have another resource for you. It's our free ultimate music teacher's guide that includes five proven teaching techniques, including how to identify your students' learning styles for visual, auditory, and kinesthetic learners. And you can download your free teacher's guide at ultimatemusicteachers.com. That's my gift to you. So enjoy. I'd love to hear from you, you know, what you want to implement first or or what you're thinking, or if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. So now it's time for some exciting activities for student engagement. We've got to have some activities that's going to really be motivating them, right? Really getting them excited. So keeping students engaged is a top priority. And I know you found this in your own teaching because if our students aren't engaged, then probably the learning won't occur. Just the same as if you're bored, chances are you're not going to remember things. I remember taking my theory when I was a young student and I was bored. I didn't really remember too much. I didn't get a very good mark in my music theory and it really impacted how I could sight read, how I would approach, you know, improvisation, composition, everything was overwhelming and scary for me. And it wasn't until I really embraced learning and started to realize that, yes, we can keep our students engaged, that things started to change. So keeping students engaged is a top priority for all of us. You can incorporate fun activities like musical games, your group challenges, or even composing exercises. How fun is that when you're doing your theory club camp to have each student compose two measures and then you know, pass it one student to the right, have that student compose the next two measures, pass it one to the right, have the next student compose the next two measures, keeping in mind, you know, the motive, of course, and time signatures and key signatures and all the other elements of music that you're teaching them. But how cool is that? You can even run a composing music theory camp. You might have each student compose four measures or even eight or whatever it is. Maybe they want to do just two and two together just an idea that I've implemented in my studio and found great success with. Another one might be music theory bingo, playing online games, such as what we have inside the Ultimate Music Teachers membership. And think about rhythm. You know, you can have scavenger hunts. You can do things like simply listening. What sounds do you hear? If there's, you know, birds singing, if you can hear something from outside, if you want students to play their favorite music, can they identify the tempo? Can they determine the time signature? Like just explore musicality. It's not just about the piece that they're working on, but it's the music they listen to. It's the music that they like to play. It's the music they want to dance to. There's so much more than just the notes on the page of what you are teaching them in their particular instrument or voice, of course. So remember, the more engaged and invested students are, the more they'll retain and enjoy learning music theory, which obviously reflects their musicality, their musicianship skills. In fact, I want to share this with you. My Music Theory Club classes not only stayed together for many, many years as they progressed through the Ultimate Music Theory program, they started in Prep 1, and then the next, the following year, they did Prep 2, and then Basic, Intermediate, and Advanced Rudiments program, but they also loved using the Ultimate Music Theory app, and it correlates to each workbook and each matching lesson. So they were also using the Ultimate Music Theory app during class time as it would correlate to the lesson they were working on in the workbook. Super cool. 
I'll leave the link for you in the show notes as well. So you can check out the Ultimate Music Theory app. Now, not only were my students learning together in music class, they also performed together. And in fact, my students performed at the Winnipeg Concert Hall in their program. It was called Musicians in the Making. And I was invited to bring my students multiple years in a row. And my students said it was one of the highlights of being in their theory club class together. And I invite you to check out the Ultimate Music Teachers podcast, episode number three, with my student, Danica Magdales. Now, Danica Magdales, she shares her experience going from a student in music theory club class to teacher, and she's also a music teacher, and now she is the Ultimate Music Teachers podcast coordinator. She actually started working for me when she was 12, you know, organizing stickers and all the rest of the things that we need done somehow. And I always say, hire a student, you know, they love to help their teacher. And Danica has been with the company for many, many years now, can't do things without her. And to think that it all started with Danica being registered in music theory club class. So you never know. So check it out. Episode number three. So now the cool thing about Theory Club Class is that it's all about the universal language of music theory. So let's talk about why music theory is crucial for musicians. And this is regardless of their instrument or vocal specialization. Music theory is like the glue that binds different instruments and voices together. It provides a common language that enables musicians to communicate effectively, collaborate, and understand the structure of the music that they're creating. So whether you're a pianist or a guitarist, a singer, you're a drummer, violinist, whatever instrument you're playing, a solid foundation in music theory really enhances your musicality and it opens up endless creative possibilities. And I want you to realize that not only are you teaching music theory so that your students can be more productive in their music lessons, but it's also more profitable for you as a music teacher growing your music teaching business. And when planning your music theory classes, you can enroll students from different practical instruments or voice lessons as they can all be in the same theory club class. So here's how it works. Many of my theory club class students came from different teachers who did not teach theory, or they also came from the local high school, the band program, where there were not enough hours for the band director to include theory in the school program. And they happily came to me for theory club classes as it elevated their skill set as musicians. And it was a win 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 situation. I was filling my classes and being more profitable in my business. Students were learning and feeling more confident in their playing. And the other teachers and the band director, uh, voice teachers, and so on, were really grateful that their students were more prepared for sight reading, for ear training, for composition, for performance, and just overall excelling in their musicianship skills. So we were all winners. And it's just so much fun to be teaching theory. And in fact, fun fact here for you. Did you know that music makes you smarter? It's a proven fact. Yes, yes, yes. (laughs) Music does make you smarter. But did you know that in addition to learning music, including music theory, has been linked to cooperative development and increased intelligence. Cognitive development and increased intelligence. Wow. Studies have shown that musical training enhances memory, problem-solving skills, and even mathematical abilities. So not only are we teaching our students to become better musicians, but we're also helping them excel in other areas of their academic and personal lives. Now, here's the big plus. In addition to learning music, and you know learning music makes you smarter, but here's the big reveal. Ready? Teaching music 
makes you better looking. (laughs) It's true. Look in the mirror. I'm just saying, look in the mirror. You got this. So I've got one more bonus resource for you. Yes, in addition to looking in the mirror because you're so good looking. And that is the unspoken connection of musicians. And this one is really dear to my heart. You know, I mentioned earlier that my husband was a professional entertainer and I would watch him on stage for years and years and years and years. And I would also see my students performing on stage as they were playing duets and collaborative musical ensembles that they were performing. And I want to touch on something really magical. And you may have experienced this yourself. And that is the unspoken connection between musicians. When musicians come together to make music, there's a bond that forms beyond words. It's as if music becomes the language that transcends barriers and just unites their musical souls. Music Theory Club classes really foster this connection by creating a space where students can explore music's emotional and expressive dimensions together. It's really forging friendships and the musical partnerships that can last a lifetime, just as I've shared with you with my students. So next time you see a collection of performers on stage, I want you, I just invite you to consider Being aware of the simple gestures, the eye contact, the subtle nod of acknowledgement between musicians as if to say, great job, right? Or recognition for a cool lick that they just played, or just the simple, you know, without any verbal communication, the connection that says you take it. You know, if they're doing a four bar blues or something, it's just that simple, unspoken musical masterpiece that's created by collaboration. And they don't need to say, oh, it's your turn to play. They just simply give the nod, right? It's amazing. I've seen it a million times, just that unspoken connection in music. And today I have another free resource for you. And that is the Ultimate Music Teachers Masterclass. And this is my gift to you, and it's free. You can get instant access to learn the three most powerful teaching techniques masterclass. Simply go to ultimatemusicteachers.com. And I have a challenge for you. I'd love it if you would let me know which technique impacts you the most. I'd love to hear from you. We are all here together as music educators, and we want to help you grow your music teaching business, both productively and profitably. So make sure to reach out to us. And as we wrap up this insightful episode, I hope you've enjoyed it because I've enjoyed sharing this with you. I want to leave you with three key action steps. So action step number one is consider implementing music theory club classes into your teaching repertoire. These classes can provide an enriching experience for your students and set them up for greater musical success, not to mention your profitability in your music teaching business, because you are a business, right? You have expenses just like everyone else in business. And when you get into teaching group theory club classes, you will be more profitable. Action step number two, tailor your teaching methods to accommodate various learning styles. We talked today a little bit about visual, auditory, and kinesthetic learners, and also the free resource that you can download, the Ultimate Music Teacher's Guide, so you can learn about how to identify your students' learning styles. And remember that flexibility is the key to keeping your students engaged and excited about learning music theory. And you want to engage in all three modalities. And finally, action step number three, embrace the universal language of music theory. Help your students understand that learning music theory isn't just about passing exams. I mean, yes, it's important to do exams, but that's not the beat all and end all to learning music theory is to do exams. It's about becoming more versatile musicians and enjoying a deeper connection 
with fellow musicians, right? So you can just grab that instrument, open up a you know piece of music and play it, understand chord charts and and improvise and all the things that really elevate your skill sets. So thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Ultimate Music Teachers Podcast. I hope you're as inspired by the potential of Music Theory Club classes as I am. And remember to grab your three free resources at ultimatemusicteachers.com because yes, you can grow a six-figure business all by yourself when you are teaching using the Ultimate Music Teachers planning. And all these resources are there for you and we're here for you. So don't hesitate to reach out. Keep sharing the gift of music and nurturing the musicians of tomorrow. Till next time, teach with passion. Thanks for listening to the Ultimate Music Teachers Productivity and Profitability Podcast. Together, we can transform lives through the power of music education. I invite you to explore what's possible for your musical journey inside our UMT community. Simply join our Ultimate Music Teachers private Facebook group where we network, answer questions, host live events, and connect on a deeper level. Here's to your ultimate music teaching success with productivity and profitability. Till next time, teach with passion. Thank you.